Hey guys, how's it going? I was called to pray this morning. There's somebody out there that's going through something, but they just can't, they just can't see the other side. And the Lord put it on my heart just to let you know that although your circumstances may seem the way they are right now, they're not always gonna be like that. Draw close to God. Start doing things to enable yourself to feel His holy presence. That's the whole point of these videos. You know, I know I said the other day that this was the last message I was going to send you guys or, um, you know, I'm just going to be doing these videos and, oh, but God, had, God switched it up. He, he actually put it on my heart to uh, just do a video every day and just send them out. You don't have to respond. You don't have to like. You don't have to comment. You don't have to share. I just want to make sure that I'm obedient to what my Heavenly Father is telling me. So that way you can be able to have the same chance that I have. It's not just about salvation. It's about figuring it out. And receiving that joy you always wanted. It's about, regardless of what circumstances come your way, nothing can touch you. Regardless if your relationships are not working out, nothing can touch you. And regardless if your finance situation is working out or not, nothing can touch you. See, God has a promise for you, an everlasting life, an everlasting joy. This is not just something where you just accept Jesus and then just, that's it, now you're saved. That's not what the cross is about. That's not what Jesus represented. In every story that Jesus told, he uh, basically elaborated the perfectionness of his father and his father who sent him in heaven and go and sin no more and a holy man and inherits the earth and a righteous man will be under God's covering uh, or woman. I really want that for you guys. I know what it's like to suffer. I know what it's like to lose your family. And I'm not just talking about you getting into disagreements with your spouse and losing your kids. I like that. That that's so common. I'm talking about when you actually lose a lot of people around you either because they're against you or they're just too busy for you and feeling in that moment of just being alone and complacent and unable to do anything for yourself because you just don't know the way I'm fighting for those people right now those people that don't want to wake up in the morning don't want to go to work feel like man I should have been so much further in life by now where am I just trust God. Trust Him every day. Trust Him with all your mind. With all your soul. Trust me. He hasn't left you. And He hasn't and He hasn't forsaken you. Come on. It's okay. Have a good day, bro. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't get your face. I just got your nice pants. <laughs> yeah, bro. Maybe go play some basketball or something. I've been practicing, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Don't, I, don't make me. Don't. I'm almost dunking again. Maybe like another another year, six months. <laughs> All right, brother. Have a good day at work. Uh, you know, God wants to do stuff like that. He wants to unify you, with people. And uh, hey, Coco. How you doing, boy? I got my little Coco here. Come on. Come on. Come on, Coco. Come on. Hey, little Coco. Where's the Coco? Want to say hi for the camera? What's up? Who's this little dog? <laughs> All right. He's never forgotten you. He's always there. And if you're having trouble activating your faith or restoring 
once what God gave you before. Or just maybe you never experienced this. And you want to go, but you're too embarrassed. Or you want to go, but what are your family going to think? But you want to go and you want to go to church or experience these things that you just see people change from being one way and then they're completely different. And then it's kind of scary because you know them from being so like raw, you know, in a negative way, a societal, a societal way where um, that's the normal. But that's not the normal. Because later on you see them change and you see them happy, full of joy. You drink anymore? You smoke anymore? No. You this anymore? No. You go to clubs anymore? No. You watch, you ever seen that movie on Netflix? No, I don't even watch that. Like, I watch Pure Flix. You want to see Pure Flix? It's just like Netflix. Pure Flix. White and blue app. Same like Netflix. Probably cheaper. $9 a month. They see this change in you. And they can't understand it. And they want it because the whole power behind it is love. Love. So they see your joy. They see your excitement. They see your tenacity to just... Oh, Siri uh, thought I said, uh, Siri thought I uh, opened her up and uh, wanted to say something. They see this tenacity that, um, that you're just driven and there's nothing going to stop you and you're all on fire for God and, and they want that. Don't be scared about what your family's going to say or what they're going to think or they turn their backs on you. I, they did it to me. And um, you say, oh, Louis, but you got a lot of God-believing family in your, uh, in your family. It's in a quotation. But I'm not saying necessarily they turned their backs on me or maybe my family didn't turn their back on me. Maybe they were giving me space because what God was calling in my life and what he was doing for me, you know, people know good. And they didn't, maybe they didn't want to mess that up. I used to have people come to my house and I used to preach to them for hours. And you start to see this life build inside of them you start to see this joy inside of them and it's like for a moment in their mind they say I want that I want that joy I want that happiness not necessarily the gifts or the talents and stuff like that because I'm not gonna say if you work on it you'll get it but you will but the main thing is making sure every day all day you do something glorify God and just switch things up you want the change you have to change you want the change you have to change the things around you this is not about salvation or heaven or hell you accept Jesus in your life with all your heart and tell him you want to go to heaven but on top of that what I'm talking about you ask him and you tell him, I want to be the man or woman or child that you created me to be. Wipe out everything what I used to think. Wipe out everything what I think I know. And wipe out everything that society and friends or even family said that I am. Or my talents and my dreams are not going to work. That's a lie. That's a lie from the devil. He's using the people around you, your family around you, and he's using this fallen, broken world to allow you to see a norm that is not a norm. God did not create us for just a complacent norm. He created us, like I always say, to rule nations. And I don't say that in no other way, but just to give you the display of authority power and love and, 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 and a future that he has for you. You could rule a nation 
all from your bedroom. You want to know how? You're ruling a nation for God. You're ruling a nation for the King of Kings and the, and the, and, 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 and the thrones of thrones and for, for, for Jesus Christ, for him coming down here. And you say that you believe in him, but then if these videos bother you, then in a sense, do you really believe in him then? Because maybe you do, but you're just scarred and it's hard to trust people. This world is so fallen and so evil that you have pastors like just doing it all wrong. And the first thing they talk about is tithes. Well, the Lord said tithes. Uh -huh. Come on, man. That's not Jesus. And then they start rhyming. Uh, and a lot of denominations, they can do this. Contemporary, Baptists, uh, maybe even like Catholics. It's like rules. They put all these rules on you. And they don't tell you to seek the kingdom first. And then he'll remove the things. So then therefore you'll be able to fall and be under the rules and not break them. But if you press and you force yourself to start eliminating these rules, you get there faster. Your destiny will be sealed like no other. So, I encourage you to step out on a leap of faith. And like I said, you could rule the nation from your own bedroom. Make a video. Share God. You don't got to like my channel. I don't care about likes. I don't care about comments. I don't care about shares. The only reason I said that is so that way, when every time I do a video, you know, you'll be notified by it. And maybe some people might not have the time, so they think because they compile things on their life. But at least once in a while, they'll be able to be edified. And if I can take once in a while, I'll take it. But God has called me for a new one. And every video I make, I'm going to be sending them out. You don't have to respond. You don't have to like. You don't have to comment. You don't have to subscribe. You can even cuss me out and try to manipulate me and say, well, scripture says that uh, you shouldn't uh, cause your brother to stumble or fall or annoy them or bug them and trust God and so on. Dude. I'm going to listen to my Heavenly Father. I am, we are ultimately supposed to trust God. But we have missions. We have missions. We are here and time is short. Although, God, you, you have to be patient in some sense. There's a balance as well too. Where tomorrow's not promised. So you see some of my videos and I'm pumped and I'm hyped. You see some of my videos, I'm in dress clothes. You see some of my videos, I preach. You see some of my videos, I teach doctrine and theology. And some of my videos where I'm very soft-spoken. I think I'm very well balanced. And you can cuss me out and say, man, stop sending me these videos. I don't care. I love you. If I didn't tell you this, and if I didn't send you all of this literature every day, then am I fulfilling the mission that God has sent me to do? To help save the world? Because you'll be surprised what one person you saved. We all came from Adam and Eve. How many people have been alive and died since then thousands of years if there's six trillion or six on the world or more now just imagine every day somebody's born and every day somebody dies thousands probably even millions and you add all those numbers up for all the years that god ever created us from adam and eve that's a lot of people so with the same time of me making these videos every day and sending them out, I have a mission. You have a mission. We have a mission 
to make sure that we glorify God, we glorify Christ, and make sure that his death did not go void. Make sure that his, 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 his story gets heard all around the world. But at the same time, you just make a little video and you can save the nations from your bedroom and keep your little job, your little construction job on, that you do or your uh, boutique that you do or whatever it is you do. Maybe you uh, sell insurance or you sell cars or homes. If you don't have a job right now, but I guarantee you what you do have is a phone with the internet and a camera and YouTube or Facebook. You know, um, a lot of people don't understand, you know, they're a little embarrassed, you know, Facebook, well, my, all my family and friends are going to turn on me, nobody's going to call me for my business anymore, they're going to they're gonna be, you know, um, scared to come around me, I dealt with all that before, now everybody loves to be around me, they call me all the time, I, I, I got so much work, it's not even funny, these past few months I've just been focusing on this ministry. But uh, God is good. He has given me a balance for now. I've been able to transition back to work. And uh, still do these videos and still do the ministry. And everywhere I go. So if you're scared that what well, people are going to think on your Facebook. Start off on YouTube. I guarantee you, you'll make a thousand videos. And probably nobody will see it. But on that one in particular moment. The right person is going to come across. God's going to seal you into your destiny. And therefore, you go from uh, saving the nations from your little room, your little $950 apartment where everything is painted, even the floors are painted, uh, to something so great where God wants to take you. And uh, a lot of you guys want to be full ministry. Come on, man. You gotta, you gotta balance it out, man. Don't be scared. I remember when I first started making videos, I was stuttering, I was mumbling, I was saying stuff that wasn't right, but I just kept watching preachings. Uh, maybe a little bit I was saying stuff wasn't right, but you get what I mean. So, I just want to pray right now. Don't be scared. Do what God called you to do. And uh, if you're scared, Go to church, for real. If you're going through anxiety, go to church. I have a powerful churches. You know, don't be saying, oh, well, I go to this church and I go to that church. It's a difference. When you go... When you go to just a regular church and just the power is on uh, and the pastor and that, and then you go to a church where the pastor, he's, he's sin free, he's righteous, he's holy, he's a man of God, he locks himself up in his house all day preparing for years and years in the word of God to deliver it in the most beautiful majestic way and when it's delivered in it the church is so holy you walk in you can feel like so unworthy to be there if you're like whoa but it's too late you walked in and you're like I don't want to leave taste of God the real God you don't want to leave I love you guys uh, hope you guys have a great morning and I'm going to say my prayer Father God we come before you right now for this prayer that you put on my heart if there's anybody right now going through anything that they're struggling dealing with that they just don't know the way or they feel like is this the end of my ropes father god i pray that you come down right now and you enter where they are at right now and allow them to feel that you love them Lord. allow them to feel that you you are there for them Lord, and allow them to feel that you've never went anywhere father god we stand before you with humbleness and humility understanding that you are the ruler of the universe father god and we are just mere mere small little beautiful creatures that you created father god to allow us to fellowship amongst each other and to allow us to bring unity within our families father god 
I pray right now that you bring a unity like no other. I pray right now that you bring a love like no other. And I pray right now, whoever is going through whatever it is, that they're able to know and feel that they're not alone. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. You guys have a wonderful, beautiful day.